Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at FlySafe 2014 Las Vegas, and I'm talking to Joseph Alecki from 3D Robotics. Joseph, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Nice good, to see good. you again. Nice to see you. That's right, AMA Expo, right? That's right. Outstanding. So now, you've got something new here, which is the Iris Plus. The Iris Plus. And, and what distinguishes it from the original Iris? Well, the new Iris Plus um, that we just released has quite a few different features that we've approved upon the original Iris. Um, one thing I really, really like about this aircraft is the self-tightening screw-on props. Oh! So the threads are opposite the direction of the rotation of the motor. Um, and what that means is you can screw them on backwards. And as the motor spins, it's self-tightening. And when you need to put it back in the case or change a prop, it's very, very easy. So I always thought that was really smart. I mean, I don't know why we thought of that sooner. I'm yeah, one of those unfortunates yeah. back in the day where yeah. I had a, a prop nut separate once, yep. and the aircraft was 100 feet up in the air and on FPV, and the you know the propeller just went pew, yep. and the aircraft. Just <laughs> yep. No, this is a great uh, innovation. New propellers, higher efficiency, a little more flexibility for stability and control. Um, that's the cross. We got new motors. Okay. Um, they're more efficient. The the frame and body material itself is a new um, composition uh -huh. compared to the other one, so it's a lot lighter, Oh. a lot more durable and flexible. So you can, the weight? Yeah, you can check out the oh. weight. So that's like that's, the flying weight minus the battery, of course. That's not bad. So we changed the mixture up. I don't know what it was exactly, but <laughs> it's lighter and it's more flexible, which means it's much more durable if you do happen to bump into something. Outstanding. Um, and you, you've, you've seen me fly, obviously. <laughs> and, and a lot of other people, too. It's really easy to do. It's really, they're fast. And, uh, yeah, um, it's inevitable. I, well, thank you for that. Yeah, you, yeah, it crashed you. No worries. Uh, we just don't talk about it. So the uh, lights that we've added to the copter um, really help with orientation control. We've got two white lights in the front, two red lights in the back. These are snap-ons. Um, oh. They snap on this uh, grid pattern here. Okay, I got you. Rail. Um, new legs. I think we saved the weight savings was like 200 percent or something. It's, it's substantially lighter with the legs with the new carbon fiber legs. Oh, so that's carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber rod. Wow. With the feet and the new um, goes in the same spot as the old iris. Um, wider like camera angle. Okay, so you... so this it's, that's why it's positioned out here is because uh, we get this nice view for the camera. Sure, um, sure. We've relocated the telemetry antenna so we can have a, a better signal on the ground we're pointing it downwards now which uh, through all their testing and all the aircraft we probably found out that if you put the antenna downward there's actually less blocking it from the ground station <laughs> and it works way better you know in our latest designs we've discovered the exact same thing yeah. why we ever mounted an antenna on an aircraft pointing up it seemed like the right thing to do but it's totally not it's not at all the right thing to do um, okay. but that's why this stuff is exciting because you know we're constantly evolving and learning new techniques like that's why i enjoy it honestly. yeah the most important thing that I like, um, new battery system, uh -huh. it's a low C discharge battery. We were rate, uh, overrated. We can have a lot of power, but we found that most people don't need that kind of power level. Okay. So what we did is we dropped the C rating, and what that allows us to do is have more capacity in the battery for this for a given weight. Oh. So we've dropped to I think an eight C battery, fifty one hundred milliamps from a thirty five hundred milliamps on this equal weight. Wow. So we've been able to achieve a one hundred percent increase in flight time when it's all set up and ready to go with the gimbal. Now what Now what is what is the new flying time? So without the gimbal, the old one used to fly 10, 12, maybe 15 minutes. You put the gimbal on there, you're around 10 minutes. If you get aggressive with it, you're sub 10 minutes, okay? Uh -huh. Which is, it's okay. No, like, it's not bad. You know, it's, sometimes it feels like an hour when you're learning how to fly <laughs> for a long time. But we do like to fly a little bit longer than that typically. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We knew that uh, lightening the frame, new motors, propulsion system, everything has been designed to optimize the efficiency of the aircraft and uh, just clean up the looks and the usability of the aircraft. So cool. now we're looking at 15 plus minutes fully loaded with, with the payload. Outstanding. Okay, so right before we started talking, you handed me this thing. Yes. And this looks like, it, this must be your, your ground station here, which is really slick with a little waypoint pattern. So, and this is an Android device? Right, so what you're looking at is the Droid Planner 2.0. Um, that's available for free on the Android store. Um, you guys can download it, play with it. Cool. Um, and what this enables you to do is use any Android device to autonomously fly and monitor your aircraft. <laughs> Okay. So what we do is all touchscreen interface, we do mission planning, um, we know all the health and the status of the aircraft, Sweet. and we're talking to it through this special cable 
and this uh, telemetry unit, which is on the back. Okay, and that's talking to obviously the telemetry unit. Yeah. So this is the 900 megahertz telemetry unit. It's a bi-directional transceiver. Oh, so that they're talking to each other. Yes. You cool. can send commands to the aircraft, and you're also receiving information from the aircraft in the air on the device. Sweet. So this will work on a phone, the tablets. Um, I've seen somebody with a watch, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Um, and there it is, baby. Oh, you got one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go try it tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Let me find. Okay, so the, the, the other thing that's really new and exciting um, that we've kind of co-released with this Iris Plus is the follow me feature, which they're calling 3PV now. Three. So basically, you hit a button, it's one button, and the aircraft is now using the GPS location of this unit, and that's transmitting up to the aircraft to give it an offset. So now if, if, if I were to move and I'm in follow mode, it's gonna just trail behind you. I see, so you can tell it, hey, get 200 feet behind me and 50 feet above me. Yes, that's correct. Have you tried driving in a car with it yet? Well, the top speed as tested in the San Diego wind tunnel is 33 knots. Have you tried driving a car slowly with you inside the car? To it would totally work. Awesome. Yeah, it would work. Well, you know we're gonna test that. I would love to test that. <laughs> All right, well, Joseph, thank you so much for your time, for showing no us the awesome new Iris Plus. Yeah. And we will uh, we'll be in touch soon. See you again soon. All right, uh, from uh, FlySafe 2014 in Las Vegas, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off.